In our long and complex proof of the estimate for the number of consecutive triples of quadratic residues modulo p, we ended up with an explicit formula for writing a 1 modulo 4 prime as the sum of two squares. Once we have this result, a natural question that arises is what other numbers we can write as a sum of two squares, and this leads us to the main result of the section. Theorem. A positive integer n can be represented as the sum of two squares if and only if its factorizations into powers of distinct primes contains no odd powers of primes congruent to 3 modulo 4. We will prove the forward direction by contradiction. Suppose that the prime factorization of n has a 3 modulo 4 prime q raised to an odd power, and suppose that n equals x squared plus y squared. We can make a collection of substitutions to divide up by the greatest common factor of x and y in order to simplify the equation. Since the exponent of q in the factorization of n is odd, it will remain odd after dividing by a perfect square. This means that the exponent of q in n1 must also be odd. Furthermore, we know that q cannot divide either x0 or y0 because otherwise it would have to divide both and we've already divided out all the common factors. This implies that there exists a u such that x0 is congruent to u times y0 mod q. After substituting, we get that q must divide 1 plus u squared times y0 squared. Since we've already shown that q does not divide y0, we must have that q divides 1 plus u squared. In other words, u squared is congruent to negative 1 modulo q. But this implies that negative 1 is a quadratic residue modulo q, which is false since q is congruent to 3 modulo 4. Therefore, the assumption that we can write n as a sum of squares is wrong, and all the 3 modulo 4 primes in the factorization of n must be raised to even powers. We will now prove the other direction. The key to this part of the proof is that the product of two sums of squares is expressible as the sum of squares itself. Also note that we have these equations. As long as each 3 mod 4 prime is raised to an even power, we can use these equations with the identity to write the number n as a sum of two squares. In class, we will be using some of these ideas to explore a question related to the Pythagorean theorem. Thank you for watching this video. I'm currently dabbling with the idea of creating more videos like these for my classes and I welcome constructive comments that might help me make better videos in the future.